This video is presented to you by CXO Learning Academy, a learning initiative by CXO Math. In this video, we will examine the expanded accounting equation that incorporates the effects of profit and loss account statement, that is the income and the expenses. The basic accounting e equation, assets, that is as a resource equals to liabilities plus owner's equity, that is the claim on resources, can further be expanded to incorporate the changes in profit and loss account. The business activities are reflected in revenues earned and expenses paid. Hence, the expanded equation would be assets equals to liabilities plus owner's, owner's equity plus income, that's the revenues, minus expenses, which include the cost and dividend. Let's focus on income and expenses. Defining income. The income side or the revenue side is the credit side. Money comes in by conducting day-to-day -day business activities. An entity generates revenue or income from its business transactions, usually from the sale of goods and services to customers. Receipts and turnover are other terms used for revenues or income. For individuals, Income is the sum of all salaries, commission, profits, interest, rent or any other form of earning. Firms, corporate entities receive revenues from its business activities such as sale of goods and services to customers. Other forms of income for corporates include interest, dividend or royalties paid. The government also earns revenues through taxes, import-export duty, licenses, fees, etc. Revenues is an integral part of the profit and loss account statement. Revenue turnover numbers are called the top line numbers. Net income is the difference between the revenues and the cost, also known as the bottom line. Net profit is the other term used for bottom line numbers. Non-profit organizations also generate revenues and is commonly referred to as gross receipts. Revenue is calculated by multiplying the price at which goods and services are sold by the number of units or amount sold. Revenue is the amount that the business generates and does not include the cost of businesses and cash flows. Profits, on the other hand, is the money retained by the business after all the costs are paid for. So now we understand what revenue is. It's the top line number. Revenue is generated by the business and costs or expenses are incurred by the business. And what is residue or what's left over is the net. Expenses or costs are incurred while conducting a business. To generate revenue, there are certain amounts of costs that would be incurred. Dividend is a portion of corporate profits paid out to the shareholders. When there is a surplus or profit in the business, it can be used in two ways. Profits can be distributed among the business partners or shareholders or owners of the business or it can be kept within the business and reinvested to improve or expand the business or service the working capital. An expense or a cost is the amount of money or goods expended in conducting business to earn revenues. It's an outflow of cash or other valuable assets from a person or a company to another person or a company. This outflow of cash is generally one side of a trade for products or services that have equal or better current or future value to the buyer than to the seller. The International Accounting Standard Report defines expenses as decrease in economic benefit during the accounting period in form of outflow or depletion of assets or incurrences of liability that results in decrease in equity other than those related to distributions to e equity participants. Now, costs are classified into various groups depending on the user. So, expenses related to the main activity of the business are referred to as operating expenses. Expenses associated with the peripheral activity are non-operating or other expenses. The cash flow statement represents cash outflows in three groups, operational, capital and financial. In cost accounting, the terms fixed cost and variable costs are commonly used. Now let's study these various groups individually. Classification of expenses. Expenses are classified into various categories based on the user. The profit and loss account or income statement classifies expenses into operating and non-operating expenses. Operating expenses, also called OPEX, is an ongoing cost for running a business. Salaries to employees, 
purchase of raw material, maintenance of plant and machinery, other administrative selling and advertising costs, all related to regular business activity are called the operating costs. A non-operating expense is an expense incurred by activities not related to the core operations of the business. For example, interest charges or other costs related to borrowed funds, currency exchange, charges and obsolence of inventory, all can be considered as non-operating expense. The cash flow statement is a financial statement that shows how changes in the balance sheet and income statement affect cash and cash equivalent. So basically the statement help, helps us understand how cash flows in and out of the business. Cash flow is divided into three groups. The operating activity include cash expended towards production, sale and delivery of goods and services of a business. So for example, receipts from sale of goods or services, interest received or paid on funds invested or borrowed, payments to suppliers for raw material, goods and services, payments to employees and workers in form of salaries, um, benefits and wages, etc. are all part of the operating activities. Items that, did not include, uh, that are not included in this activity are non-cash items such as depreciation, deferred taxes, amortization and any other form of cash flow that is not directly related to the operations of a business. Financial activities. Financial activities include inflow of cash and cash equivalents from investors such as banks, creditors and shareholders and outflow of cash towards interest and dividends. For example, proceeds from issuing short term or long term debt, payment of dividends, payment for repurchase of shares, repayments of debt including interest and principal etc. are all financial activities. Investing activities. Investing activities include cash flow movements resulting in gains or losses from investment in the financial market, operating subsidiaries and changes resulting from amounts spent in capital assets such as plant and equipment. For example, purchase of or sale of assets, loans made to suppliers or received from creditors, dividends and interest received from investment in financial markets are all investment activities. Cost accountants classify costs so that the managers of the business can take informed decisions for their organizations. The two major cost classifications as per cost accountants is fixed cost and the variable cost. Fixed cost. Fixed costs are costs that are independent of output. They remain constant irrespective of the quantity produced or services rendered. They are usually considered to be sunk cost. Fixed costs include rent, building, uh, cost of, pay, cost of own, owning a building or property, machinery, land, etc. Variable cost. Variable costs are costs that vary with the output. Variable costs can be correlated to the revenue generated or the capital inflow, uh, inflow or the labor used. Variable costs include wages, utility, raw material used in the production, etc. Thank you for watching this video. This video is presented to you by CXO Learning.